What's up guys, Freezy here. In Blue Archive Global, we just got the first tactical support student, so I think this is a good time to make a video on this special class of students. This video will be a review on the new student Swimsuit Hifumi, and also a guide on the whole tactical support class. This time, let's start with the TS class first. Tactical support, or TS in short, is a new class of character in Blue Archive. They are backline students with the ability to summon vehicles to fight like a frontline striker. However, they are still counted as backline students, so they won't receive any stats bonus from backline supports. And the support subskill does not affect them at all. Here you can see that the tank from Hifumi only has one buff icon from her own enhanced skill. The subskill from backline affects other frontline students, but not the tank. However, the vehicle can still receive buffs from other sources, such as Kotama. The vehicles summoned by TS characters actually have their own stats, and the total attack value is made up by the vehicle's base attack, plus some extra granted by the students. Based on my tests, the stats of the vehicles are only affected by the student's level. Raising the EX skill level only increases the extra stats granted from the student which is a relatively small amount when compared to the vehicle's base stats. Since the vehicle have much higher stats than most students, they are very strong in the early game. But increasing the EX skill level only improves its damage by a small amount. Now let's move on to Hifumi. Her tank is by far the most powerful vehicle in the game for now. From my tests, the estimated base attack for the tank at around level 70 is around 10,000, which is much higher than all other students. But it does come at a heavy cost. Deploying the tank costs 10 skill points. When firing non-stop for the full duration, the tank will fire 11 normal attacks and 2 special attacks. So the total attack percentage at max is over 1800. Since every hit from the tank deals AoE damage, the cost to damage ratio is extremely good. However, the tank cost requirement is a bit problematic in the current meta. Blue Archive is a game that heavily emphasizes on damage buffing and skill cycling. A skill costing 10 will slow down your damage cycle significantly. Since the total cost we get in a fight stays the same, each cycle costing more means you will have either less damage buffs, or your other damage dealers will do less damage. For the most part, Blue Archive rewards you for finishing the fight faster, so having a heavy hitter that costs a lot is very anti-meta. So yeah, Summer Hifumi is not a very competitively viable character at this point. So Summer Hifumi is not a competitive character in the current meta. The best place to use her is in the Chesed Raid as a backup character. While she is not so good when used with the top meta students, if you can't kill the boss with your first two teams and run out of good students, Summer Hifumi can kinda carry a weaker team by herself. The tank always spawns behind the team, and the turret enemy in Chesed attacks the furthest target, so the tank will soak up the turret damage and protect your weaker damage dealers in the middle. Plus, she's very good at clearing waves, so you can bring more single target damage to focus down the boss. So to sum it up, the best part about Summer Hifumi is that she requires very little investments. She doesn't need high star count or max EX skill to do good damage, only needs levels. This makes her extremely good in the early game when you can level up a lot of skills. She does well in EXP stages and clearing main story mode, as well as a backup option in yellow armor raids. However, as your team gets stronger, she does not improve as much with further investments, and the heavy costs makes her a relatively weak character in the late game. Overall, I don't recommend pulling Summer Hifumi at all. We do have two more limited characters coming right after. Lately, Blue Archive has been making a lot of efforts to make non-meta students useful. Even the most useless students have seen competitive play on JP server as of late. And we do know the devs love Hifumi a lot. So I wouldn't be surprised when she suddenly becomes top meta in the future. And that's it for this video. I've been kinda busy with real life stuff recently, so not gonna have many videos coming out. 
If you have any suggestions to the review format or questions, let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.